Leave insert higher level maths 2021 higher level. This is the solution video to question three. So question three was a bit of an area and volume question to start off with and then a functions question over there. So a little bit of a mix in it. There was a bit of a discussion about this question after the exam um, and some students were a little bit confused by this, but it turns out it was fairly easy to get the right answer here. So the diagram shows a cuboid with dimensions X, Y and Z and the areas are shown. So this face here is 2 root 2. This face here is 8 root 6 and this face here is 4 root 3. Find the volume of the cuboid in the form of A root B cubic centimetres. So volume is equal to X, Y, Z multiply the three of them, x by y by z. Now what you do here is you get each of these faces here. So this face here, 2 root 2, is x by z. So x by z, so x z is equal to 2 root 2. This face here is y by z. So y z is equal to 8 root 6. And then this top face here is y by x, so x, y, x, y is equal to 4 root 3. Now, if I multiply the three of these equations together, so let's say multiply the left hand side by the left hand side by the left hand side, multiply the right hand side by the right hand side by the right hand side, what I get is x, z by y, z by x, y. So there's x by x, y by y, and z by z. So that's x, y, z squared. So I get x, y, z all squared on the left hand side is equal to the three of these things multiplied together. So that's 2 root 2 by 8 root 6 by 4 root 3. So x, y, z to be squared is equal to, now if I multiply all of these out, uh, I'm not going to go through it in, in detail here, but when you multiply them out, you can throw it into your calculator. What you get is 384. And then what I'll do is I'll go and take the square root of both sides because I want volume is equal to x, y, z. So if I take the square root of this here, I'll get x, y, z. So square root of that side is equal to the square root of that side. x, y, z is equal to the square root of 384. If you throw that into your calculator, you'll get 8 root 6. So the answer is 8 root 6 square centimetres. Part B is a small function here. Uh, given that f of x is equal to 3x squared plus 8x minus 35, find the two roots, simple quadratic equation, solve it. Uh, lots of different ways you can solve it. I like to use the guide number method, but if you have another method, that's fine. I'll just do the guide number method here for this one. So it's 3 by minus 35. That's equal to minus 105. And we want factors of minus 105 that add together to give you 8. That turns out, they turn out to be 15 by minus 7. So 15 multiplied by minus 7 gives you minus 105. If you do 15 minus 7, you get 8. We rewrite our equation then as 3x squared plus 15x minus 7x minus 35 equal to 0. Take the first two, factorize them. Highest common factor is 3x. You're left with x plus 5. Here, take out common factor of minus 7. You have minus 7 times x plus 5 equal to 0. So two factors are 3x minus 7 times x plus 5 equal to 0. So then I have 3x minus 7 equal to 0. So 3x is equal to 7. x is equal to 7 over 3. And here, x is equal to minus 5. So there are my two roots for that function. Now the second part, not as straightforward, but hopefully uh, didn't cause too much trouble for you, hence or otherwise. So uh, usually hence, that means use the thing up here, you know, use that answer. So solve the equation, 3 to the power of 2m plus 1 is equal to 35 minus 8 times 3 to the m. 
this equation here, the trick is to realize that that is actually the same equation as the one up here. So we rewrite it in this form here. So if I do three to the power of two m plus one, if I take everything to the one side plus eight times three to the power of m minus 35 equal to zero. This is basically a quadratic equation with uh, exponentials instead of your x. 3 to the power of 2m plus 1, you can rewrite that as 3 times 3 to the power of m to the power of 2, plus 8 times 3 to the power of m minus 35. So basically, in this, this equation, is the same as this equation, except instead of x, I have three to the power of m. So that's what I say. I say three to the power of m is equal to x. Now I know what x is. x is seven over three or minus five. So three m is equal to seven over three and three m is equal to minus five. 3 to the power of m equal to minus 5. Well, that doesn't have any solution, no solution, because we can't raise 3 to any power and get an answer of minus 5. But over here, we can get a solution. So 3 to the power of m equal to 7 over 3. I can take the log of both sides. So the log base 3 of 7 over 3 is equal to uh, log base three of three to the power of m is just equal to m. So you might know that as going from index form to, to log form. So log base three of seven over three is equal to m. We're asked to write it in this form here. We almost have it here, it's m is equal to that, but we want this form log base three of p minus a q. So that's just bringing in one of the laws of logs here. So log seven over three, let's just say m is equal to log base three of seven over three. Well, that's your minus one, isn't it? So it's log of seven base three minus log of three base three. And we know, or should know anyway, that the log of three base three is just equal to one. So it's the log of seven base three minus one. And that is your solution there for that one. So not a bad question either, question three. If you have any questions, just ask in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.